they say that getting there is half the fun. That's not really true in this case. The flight was easy from uh, Tucson to Phoenix and all the way down was just three hours. But once we got to uh, the airport, you have to take a taxi all the way out to this Punta Pescadero Paradise Resort and the road from Los Bariles to the resort is miserable. It's not completely four-wheel drive, but it's awfully close and uh, very bumpy and very slow. This is one of our breakfast fruit plates. Every meal was good. Uh, they do a great job. Okay, well, I'm headed out on our first morning's expedition. <laughs> it's mid-morning. High tide's about two hours from now. Uh, ocean's incredibly quiet. It's uh, nice that way when it's not windy in our face, so probably not going to be successful this morning, but we'll wait till the tide comes in and see what happens. Maybe later. of the trip looks like a monster. <laughs> it actually was. Unfortunately, it's also a trumpet fish. So this one's maybe four to five feet long. They're fairly tough, but they don't have a lot of body mass to fight. So it's uh, not something we enjoy catching it <laughs> a lot of. It's an interesting looking fish, uh, but the fish that shows up next, which was a decent size little grouper, was much better. Come on, up you go. Yeah, it is. Boy, that's a beauty. That is a beauty of a little grouper. Yeah, he was strong. He's a strong fish. I'm guessing about the same size as that last grouper. Let's see where he is. Yep, here he comes. Oh, what do we have here? It's just another grouper. That's great. Nice fish. That's something that's actually pulling my drag a little. It can't be very, oops, I don't think it's too big, but it's, uh, wow. This one's still not huge, but he's about four feet long. Look at this guy. Woo! Let's get rid of you. You need a sink tip line here. you got to get the fly down on the bottom to hook the bigger uh, groupers and probably some other bottom fish. Um, retrieves, kind of something between a bonefish and a trevally retrieve. Um, unless you see a school of jacks, then you use a trevally retrieve. So it's uh, it's not been good at all. Uh, don't like those trumpet fish, but <laughs> they're about the only fun thing we've caught, except for a couple of decent sized groupers. So different flies, uh, probably tan, uh, with a little bit of orange or something is a trigger point. Um, the uh, CP cruisers from uh, Seychelles didn't work well at all, although I did catch a few fish on them. Pink puffs seem to be about the best. I think I've got to remind myself to try to tie up some uh, Seychelles flies with uh, the little grizzly hackle wings and see if they work there too. They work really well here, relatively speaking. So that's about it. Uh, you have to get down deep here and you have to get out further on the reef. Otherwise, uh, you're not going to hook any fish from the shore. Uh, at least not many with a fly rod. Even if I'm casting 60, 80 feet every time, it doesn't make any difference. It's not far enough. Well, I just put on one of my PT cruisers and caught my first hawkfish in the trip. Pretty fish. I guess they're not good to eat, but they're sure good looking in the tank. So let's get him off our first lunch. We're at the bar. She waves. There's the dining room over there. The reception's over there. We've got a lot of outdoor seating and some beautiful rock formations out here. It's really, really a pretty place. We look down toward Los Bolivares, and you can see actually all the way across. We had very good Mexican food on the trip. There's an avocado salad for soup, lots of Coronas. I have uh, quesadillas with beans and rice, and we've got nice accoutrements for it too. Beaches were fairly sandy, but I was on a really rocky one here. These things are about the size of baseballs, and they're not a lot of fun to walk on. Well, it's small, but it's a jack. Let's get one. Let's get you off. This is different. Uh, another jack, but this one's an amber jack. 
crawfish or something. Uh, anyway, I caught a partner off the rock. It's a nice little jack, but they're really little. It's a big hooper, not a big hooper, but it's a pretty hooper. I just had a decent sized tree to fish on right there, but uh, put too much pressure on it and popped off. So, other than sunrise, low tide.